There's nothing more inspiring than other artists making their stuff and teaching you along the way. The inspiration is continuing and continuing and building and building because there's always something to learn. I'm Darcy Roberts. We're at Vodka, which is Bailey's Contemporary Arts. I'm an artist in residence and I am going to do a deep dive into making mosaics. I love it. First of all, it's really cool to be around other people. I have a studio at home, but it's very isolating and I want to be part of humanity. It's just time to resurrect. Already I have pushed myself further and further than I ever thought that I would. Even that in itself is a huge stepping stone up because Sometimes just good old fashioned, plain hard work is what it requires. Part of the program is to teach uh, the community and I'm looking forward to that because one, I used to be an early childhood educator and so I'm used to teaching, I make it fun. I think that adults are allowed to have fun too and not enough of us do that. I think art is all around us. I mean, I've been inspired by dried dirt and mud and the way the cracks there's shadow and there's light and there's wet and there's dry. When you look with an artist's eye, if you're looking for something, you'll see it. It's important for me as an artist to incorporate found objects. Some of them might be considered trash to other people, but um, I consider them 3D and I, if I change them in some way, then I've put my mark on them and that's what an artist hopes to do is reconfigure and mosaics is nothing but breaking and destroying and then reconstructing something else and that's really important for me to keep those plastics out of the oceans and get them where they belong until we can eliminate them completely a lot of it ends up in the trash i do these beach walks and i pick up all kinds of plastic every single day and then i will wash them off bleach them and then i will incorporate them into my mixed media pieces Everyone is an artist and all you have to do is play and explore and discover. I face all kinds of fear while I'm looking and designing and then, you know, at some point you just have to go for it and do it. I really want people to understand that it's scary to do this and it's freeing to do it and give yourself permission to do something crazy and wild.